Welcome back. Worried by the dangers posed by indiscriminate disposal of plastics to drainage channels and the resultant flooding this rainy season, environmental activists are encouraging Lagos residents to pick these recyclable materials later in the environment and get rewarded. The activists spoke at a recycling COVID-19 program aimed at ensuring a clean and healthy environment and also supporting low-income communities. The time was 9 a.m. and here gathered are residents of a Jora Uluye community in Lagos. Members of the Africa Cleanup Initiative and their partners, including the Quivers Foundation, Wevo, We Cyclers, Inspired Next Initiative, Recycler Association of Nigeria, and Yagazi Foundation, as well as about 30 volunteers. It was the first Recycles Pay COVID-19 support and mask up slum project aimed at addressing the menace of plastic pollution in low-income communities. You can see that we're emphasizing on the recyclables as part of what we are collecting because if you check around, the flood has become one of the major issues that have been happening as a result of rain this period. And if you check the gutter the drainages, and you notice that most of these, the things that are causing the flood are just recyclables, the plastic bottles that are actually blocking the drainages. And so we are like saying that, okay, fine, these bottles that are causing users in the community, causing the flood, make the environment dirty, unhealthy for people, we can collect it from you. It's going to reduce, which, what, what actually means is that this plastic will no longer end up in the gutters, in the, in the environment. We'll collect them from you, give them to the a recycling firm that would process it for other materials. And so for us, it's a way of trying to ensure the environment is always kept is clean, because now COVID-19 is a product, it's also a product of a dirty environment. And so we're also cleaning the environment via this platform. And not just cleaning, we're also empowering the low-income families, people, via the plastic we're collecting for now, giving them money and incentive in return. In addition to ensuring that plastics do not litter the streets of Lagos or end up in the oceans with its attendant damage to natural ecosystems, the program is also a way of giving palliative to the communities to help them cope with the challenges thrown up by the COVID-19 pandemic. Every resident who gathered recyclable materials littering the environment received double the amount normally paid for the recyclables per kilogram. They also received face masks as a means of curbing community transmission of coronavirus. Double Double is actually the catch-up for what we're doing here today. It's actually called the Recycle Spay COVID-19 Support Project, which is actually uh, done in full support uh, and partnership with the Coca-Cola Foundation. And so we are creating this platform to give back to the community uh, during this COVID period because we understand that most people actually are expressing lack when it comes to uh, having the needed resources to be able to stay healthy in times of food, in times of basic, basic amenities. And so we are partnering with Coca-Cola Foundation to give support to people that will actually donate their plastic bottles for our recycle spray project. So the Double Double now it's, uh, is to, for the, every individual family, community people that are coming with their plastic for this particular project this morning, they'll be earning double the value for every plastic bottle they are giving to us. What that means is, if for example, a kg of plastic, they earn 20 naira per kg, but for today, the project we are doing today, KG is going to give them 40 naira per kg. And the double double is just because we have the support of Coca Cola to make it double. And it's a, it's a way of also giving back to the community as our own way of palliative to, uh, during this COVID 19 period. These interventions, according to the Chief Environmental Officer, Africa Cleanup Initiative, Alexandra Ahibe, were made possible with the support of the Coca Cola Foundation and other individuals and organizations that partnered with them. Government have what they call the ex extended producer responsibility, which is simply why uh, one of the reasons why Coca-Cola is working with us on this project. And what that simply means is that every producer should take responsible responsibility for their products. And so for Coca-Cola Foundation, they are saying that, okay, we produce Coke, we produce Fanta. We're not just concerned about making money. We also want to recover those plastic from the environment. So that policy is from the government. So if the government can do all they can do to ensure that everyone that's into production takes responsibility for their 
products, I'm very sure we'll have minimal uh, uh, of these plastics and other recyclables in the environment because they will also be consigned, not just about making money, but also recovering will be part of that plan. So from production to recovering, the organization should have a plan on how they ensure that that process flows without any interruption anywhere. Some of the partners speak on the impact of the project and also sensitize the people of Ijora Oloye community on how to stay healthy and be environmentally responsible. That it takes uh, millions of years for one plastic to degrade in the ocean and this also affects the uh, fishes and wildlife in the ocean. So uh, even in our mild society we see that plastic endangers our environment. Uh, we also see it as our social responsibility to help in every way we can and uh, make sure that our drainages, our oceans, by and large, with the help of other NGOs, come together, work as one, and make sure we have an environmental friendly environment. We'll start creating more awareness uh, on the menace of plastic in schools, by the time they open, in the markets, in the streets, in communities, all around Lagos and Nigeria. It's an opportunity for people to be picking the plastic because for environment, this is part of this is, this is a, part, a part of the thing that is blocking blocking the drainage. So for we to pick the plastic again, it will be easy to be collecting money double double. There are the people that we when you take it together, they will now ask you to come and measure it. After you measure it, you will take the money immediately. I will now use this opportunity to encourage people that they should go and pick. When you pick, uh, uh, how you pick, if you pick more, you will get more money. If you pick a uh, single, you get single money. But if you're able to pick more than everybody, you collect money more than everybody. For those who benefited, their excitement knew no bounds. <laughs> About 946.6 kilograms of pet bottles and 20 kilograms of nylon were recovered from the program proudly sponsored by Coca-Cola Foundation. The team also visited the Oba's Palace Oba Abdul Fatai Aremu Oyeyinka Aromire II, where they were received by the Oba and some of his chiefs with a pledge of continuous support for the project and more intervention. <laughs>